Dana Pavlenko, please come to the hall. Dana Mikhailovna Pavlenko, how do you relate to the defendant Larisa Artemyevna Pavlenko? According to the documents, she is my mother, foster mother. Are you sure you are ready to testify against your mother? Twenty years before, where is Dana? There. Dana, come on, show me what happened, where does it hurt, here. Just a little thing, I fell and got hurt. Is that it? Listen, when you phoned, it was as if the writing arena had fallen on you, you know, you distracted me from my work. I had a lot of people there important things to do. Ha, ah, unforgotten, I didn't expect that from you. What's the matter with you, Dana? Episode 1. Dad, I won't do it again, don't be angry now. How can I not be angry with you? Ha, ah, God, what happened, did she throw you off or what? Yeah. She's expecting a baby. She's worried about her foal. Aye. What was my mom like? I can't remember her at all. She was the best. You just were too young to remember her. Isn't she forgotten for you? Certainly she is not. Of course she is not forgotten. I always remember her when you grow up. You will become my assistant. And we will give Rania and her foal a monthly allowance. So that the foal grows up healthy. Ha, huh, deal. Rania, your foal will be fine. Here. Take it, come on. By the way, they added another tennis lesson at 3 o'clock on Friday. Uh -huh. At 3 o'clock? Yes. If we have time between horses and painting, although I think we can skip the scribble. It isn't scribble, it's a fine art, art. Write that down. Danka, you're like a president, not a moment's rest. I am Dana Mikhailovna, not a child. Dana, you're still a child. That's right, Balya. Have you asked your daughter? Will she teach me business English? Why not? She's just completed her studies to become a secretary, honors graduate. Smart mind, great opportunities. Metro, get to work. And she will visit us more often, and Valya won't be so sad without her daughter, right? You are my chatterbox. Everybody should try Denka's cheesecakes. They are very tasty. Mm. You're very beautiful, Larissa. Thank you. Dad, is she like Botticelli's paintings? Yes, but I keep teaching you. You don't talk about people here in the third person. I'm ready to eat your cheesecakes for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Great job. You'll teach me too? If I find time. Dana Mikhailovna switched the boss on. I have already chosen a cool college in Cambridge. All its graduates are geniuses. I'm going to study there. That's right. Just a geniuses, right? Yes, but it's so far away. And I'll call you. And Larissa will help me with my English. But dad, Larissa is too nice to be a secretary. She'll distract you from work. <laughs> Denka needs a college for the terribly smart. That's right. I'm going to take Hrishka Sadovsky from the third B as my secretary. He is terribly smart. Most importantly, he shouldn't be terrible. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi. Come here. Sit down. Tell me, what's the important talk? Listen. I actually... 
Dad, why are you crumpling like a poor student at the blackboard? And by the way, where's that picture of Mum when she was very young? You used to wear it in a locket. It's always with me. I thought a lot, considered. Risks and possible benefits. Right. Both risks and benefits. And I will probably marry Larissa soon. So that she could teach me for free. It is a poor business plan. What do you think? But you didn't even ask Larissa. You just saw her. No. We've been dating for a few months now. I liked her straight away as soon as Valia introduced us. What's wrong? Dear, you liked her too, right? No, Dad. Why, you said she was beautiful. No, Dad. No, I said no. Dana, Dana, open the door, please. You're not behaving like an adult. I didn't expect it. I don't want to talk. Dana, Dana. With anyone. You knew everything. You all set it up, get me a ticket. I'll leave tomorrow, as far as I can. It's okay, don't worry, things will get better, we'll fix it. It will be alright. I'll probably go. Wait, where are you going? You don't have to go anywhere. It's okay, she'll get used to you, Dana. And give me back the locket with mum. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. Hi. Let's start. Don't try. Dad will buy a new one. Dana. Why should we quarrel? Huh? It's stupid. You are stupid. You don't like me living here, do you? But I'm going to live here. It's better if we don't get on each other's nerves. We'll soon be close people. You are no one to me. And you will never be my mom. You're so tough. And note that I'm not going to tiptoe around you like everyone else. I've got a temper too. I was alone without my mother in a student dormitory in another city, and I grew my teeth. Go away. It is my room. I'll tell your dad that the lesson went well. It's mutually useful. And you tell him about the book. Mitro, you can't be distracted while driving. Yes, yes. Sorry, boss. I'm transporting a precious cargo. Do you drive Larissa in my car? Why does it smell like her perfume in here? It seemed to you.
What papers did you give her? Why? Your father asked me to. Why is Larissa here with Uncle Kirillo? Does Dad know? You're really a detective. They just met by chance. A restaurant is near the office. They just had lunch. Just had lunch. She doesn't work in Dad's office. Doctor, do you think I'll look considering everything? Oh, little one, you're here, all alone. No, the driver is waiting in the car, and I'm not a little one. Oh, of course, visiting your father, our fiancé, is somewhat worried. You need to be examined with your heart, and urgently. And you can't even come to my medical office. But work doesn't let me go. Who will work? Work? I don't want to scare you, but with this kind of pressure, it's like a ticking time bomb. The injection will work. You should feel better. Danka. Uncle Leonia, is Dad sick? No, no. It's just our Zinica doing the plan. You're lying? Is he sick? Your dad needs some rest. I know what you're going to say, Denka. But I'll give you an answer. If that's what you want. Fine. I'll never get married again. But I have a condition for you. You will never get married either. We'll live together. You'll take care of me. Is that a deal? No. If it is so important and necessary for you, get married. I will try to love this Larissa and whoever she has, a brother or a sister. The couple can exchange their rings. I asked the couple to come to me. Mikhailo Petrovic, I did everything you asked. You need to sign here and here. You and the bride that she is taking her husband's surname. And about the adoption and Dana's certificate, Larissa Artemivna will be specified in the column mother. Sign here. Here, please. And now the groom can kiss the bride. Hooray! Congratulations! Nice! Congratulations! Be happy! Congratulations! Uncle Leonia, you should help Dad. I know something bad will happen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Great. Congratulations. Come in. Mikhailo Petrovic, you have visitors. Sorry. What's up, gentlemen? Mikhailo Petrovic Pavlenko. That's right. Here is a search and arrest warrant on your name. What kind of financial fraud? Let's go. Mishko. Let's go. Excuse me for a moment. What's going on? Larry said. Everything is fine, don't worry. Call Samarinan, I've been set up. What? Quiet, 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 take care and don't trust anyone. Everything will be fine. Call Samarinan, do you hear me? That's it. Come here. Come on. Let's go. It's time to go. Just a second. I'm going away for a while. Everything will be fine. Obey Larissa. Take care of her and the baby. Do you hear me? That's it. I love you very much.
Let's get started. Okay, you take the first floor, you take the second. Are you happy? Mom, what's going to happen now? Lara, calm down. Calm down, Mom. Am I going to have a baby with a criminal who also lost everything? You've made a good choice for your daughter, Mom, the best ever. Lara, what have you done, huh? Pavlenko gave us everything. Why are you spitting into the hand that feeds you? Valia, please, no shows, okay? You knew it would happen. You got involved with Hamov, with this rascal. It's obvious. Shut up. They'll handle it without us. My business is not that big. Dad will come back and kick you all out. You and you. You betrayers. Why, Dana? He won't be back soon. You're lying. What are you babbling about? Shut the hell up. Dana. Your father asked you to keep calm. The lawyers are already working. They will figure it all out. And I'm sure dad will come home very soon. You said that he was in danger. Will you tell me why you thought so? Can you give this to dad? The locket with mom on it. Let him have it. I'll give it to him. Thank you. Dana, that's a very good school. It's private. You can even live there for a while, until everything is settled. Dad couldn't have sent me to a boarding school. I don't believe it. That's what he ordered me to do. Are you discussing his orders now? Dana, it's not our fancy. Dad said so. You didn't talk to him. He told me through Uncle Leonia. I don't want to go there. Damn it. What's up? Is that Hamov? Dana, sit down now. Let's see who is faster. Do you realize that he is after you? Or maybe even four? Don't invite troubles. You realize that all this is because of you. They will kill you first. He is unlikely to return to this office. So take it. Wife. Here are some nice souvenirs. Crafts. Photos of his first wife. You probably won't need them. Mishka will come back. It can't be that way. Well, anything can happen. And you shouldn't believe Semarinen stories like that. If Mishko got there and was locked up, he'll be there for a long time. And for a reason. Why so? Why? He made his bed by lying on others. What do you mean? I mean the working people. Vouchers. Vouchers. Remember? Whoever fooled the most people was the one who won. That's it. And now it's time to pay back. And you should be happy that I'm here. I'll save the company, business, property. Is it possible? Everything is possible. There is a scheme. And you, as Pavlenko's legal wife, will have to sign where I say. Seminarin never said anything like that. Mishko trusted him, and so do I. And you shouldn't listen to him. 
It was Semarinen who leaked the documents to the cops, who took him and opened a criminal case against Mishko. Were those the documents that Mitro handed over? It doesn't matter. If I were you, I'd rather think about your child's future. For example, what is wrong with you? Am I so scary? Maybe you just made the wrong choice. I understand that Michaela was a great match. What about now? Yes. I don't understand, repeat. Meaning? And no one. Okay. Dana was being taken to a boarding school. Your mom and her husband. Yes, I know. What happened? In short, there was an accident, they just told me. No one survived. Just one call, Mishko, and so they make it work for us for a normal fee. I'm not feeling myself. Damn it. Mishko, now you need to think about how you can avoid a long sentence. Hello, Larissa. What? Yes, how are you? What's up? How's Denka? Mishko. My mother. She died. She crashed in a car. What? And Mitro. And your Denka. All of them. Oh, my God, I can't. Damn. Mishko, Mishko, Mishko. Mishko, 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 Mishko. Get a doctor, anyone. God forbid anyone to go through such a fate. Her father died when he found out about the accident. He had a massive heart attack. He died instantly. That's why no relatives come to see her. How is she going to live now? The door is wide open. Come in, whoever you want, take what you want. I don't want. Here, here, here. Well done. 40 degrees and nothing to show for it, yes. I understand everything, Larissa. It's a grief. You buried your mother, stepfather, husband. But you have to live on. No need. Leave me alone, everybody. Instead of sedatives, here's the thing, Larissa. 
Michaela was a very clever man, and he made a clever will. All his inheritance goes to his daughter. At the age of 18, she acquires the right to manage assets. Daddy's damn joy. I don't need anything. And I do. Imagine that. In short, for now, all this Mishko's property can and should be managed through the custodians. Who are you? Mummy? According to the new documents. No, 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 I won't. But you have to, Larissa. Even if you don't want to, you'll have to become a mummy and be my friend. And if you are a smart and obedient girl, you will live well in prosperity and maybe even with a man. It hurts. It hurts me too. It hurts everyone. Here, tie it yourself. I have to give birth to a child no one needs. Listen, I've never been your mom, and I'm not going to be, got it? And it's better without this familiarity. One year later, Did you feed him, Larry, sir? I fed him. I didn't. I'll feed you. boy. And there was a lot of shouting. Don't be angry with mum. She's good. She's just a bit tired. Mum will come and we'll sing to her. Yeah. Yeah, mummy, right. Don't call me like that. I'm not your mum. And I say this to Sashko. Yeah, it's amusing. My mother nursed you. Even abandoned her own daughter. And now you nurse mine. Where are my bottles? Larissa, you shouldn't drink at all. Where did you hide everything? I didn't hide anything. Did you get together with the maids? Huh? Have you decided to bring me up? Little late. It's better if you take Sashko for a walk and not the nanny. Nanny? There's no nanny. I fired her. The nanny talked a lot. Oh. Why? Hire a new one. You have a lot of money. It's me who has nothing. Or maybe I'm spending all those generous handouts on your horses and teachers. No teachers or horses for a long time. Only my school is paid for. But your school costs as much as... Why aren't you satisfied with the usual one, huh? Dad wanted this. I see, of course. I see. Then college in England. 
and then you become a big boss. Oh my God, what are you dreaming about? You need to dream about how to successfully marry. And you talk about business. I promised my dad. Dana, is it the same at home? Yes, but I'm trying to fix it. I feel sorry for my brother. Is that why you're so upset? No, tomorrow is the one-year anniversary of Dad's death. We fixed everything we could. All charges have been dropped, and the company is operating, and people remember your father only with kind words. When will they punish those who framed Dad? They will punish. They will definitely punish them. It just takes a little time. But it won't bring Dad back. But you are a continuation of him. One, find a new nanny for Sashko. Two, find a doctor for Larissa. So keep going your own way. You are a smart girl. You will succeed. Thank you, Uncle Leonia. I'm going. Thank you. You scared me. You behave as if you were at home, huh? Why? I think of it as my home, my woman. Maybe I'll be the master? What am I, a dog to you? Every dog is looking for a master, and you need a new one. What's wrong with you? No mood? And there was no mood. Take your hands off me. Hangover, Laura. Maybe I should give you some money? Maybe you can give it to me. I don't understand why I have to live on your handouts. It's Danka's money, and I'm her custodian, not you. Ah, uh, you know, darling, in this house you are nothing. A fool who successfully lay down under Pavlenko. Nothing more. Got it. I can't stand it anymore. I don't want to anymore. What do you want? Maybe you want to be married, huh? Maybe I want to, but not to you. Who would take you with a baby and no money? You're worthless. You're cheap. Listen, you fool, H. Here comes the mistress of the house. Uncle Kirillo, don't enter our house. I'm sorry, Dana Mikhailovna, that I'm not invited. There is a little baby in the house. No strangers are allowed here. Where is Sashko? And Sashko, Sashko is sleeping, and I'll go check on him. Uncle Kirillo, give us some money. Sashko needs a new nanny, and Larissa needs a drug addiction doctor to stop drinking. But if I give her money, Larissa will drink it away. The money must be transferred to a card, then Larissa won't get it, and the nanny should receive her salary in a bank, not here. Ah, uh, clever. Clever, clever. Okay. You take after your father. Well, Sashko, we bought some cottage cheese. We'll cook cheesecakes. Our father loved my cheesecakes. I don't know how she can leave everything on the child. She drinks. Horrible. Ungodly. Horrible. Don't touch me. I figured it out a long time ago. It was you, right? You killed them. My mom and her husband, you. Are you completely out of your mind, idiot? When they called you, when they told you, it wasn't the police. It was your friends who called, right? 
and you were shouting at them. It was them who caused the accident, right? Shut up. Mitro lost control of the car. Sure, because his car was being chased on your orders. They were all interfering with you. You killed them all. Listen, you, Dmitro, sold himself out for 30 pieces of silver. He didn't care about your mom or Pavlenko. He only wanted money. He listened and did what I said. And Mishko? Did you frame Mishko? And if so, what then? What then? It wasn't hard to do. A few signatures in the wrong place, a few different documents. The ones you handed over to me through, Dmitro. Did you forget? Over radio. Yes, we are observing. Don't do anything without my command. You're looking for the guilty. I hate you. I hate you. Listen, if you keep fighting, you'll drown yourself and you will lose everything. I've already lost everything, okay? And you will be responsible for everything. And you're here with the air. Over radio, come on, let's go, go, go. Open the door, open up. Go away. Open up, listen. You think you've hidden, right? You think I won't come in? Let's talk. Give me the kid, okay? That's it, I won't hurt you. I'm not afraid of you, and you won't touch Sashko. Just try to come in. Yeah, what's going to happen? Will you kill me? Hands behind your back. Hey, Mav, get away from the door, now. Hey, hey. Move out. Get out. Thank you, Larry said you did everything right, but of course, no one expected that. How are you feeling? Better. It's going to be fine. Will you add him for an assassination attempt, right? He's already got a lot going for him. It was important for us to hear his confession. Everything he said was recorded on camera. It will be added to the case and used as an accusation in court. Take him away. It's okay. You and your dad made a gesture. Can you teach me? What does it mean? It's like a heartbeat. I don't know what to do next. I can't bring Mishko back. Neither can I bring my mom. Oh, how to live. There is no sense. You have to raise Sashko. That's the sense. <gasps> Thank you for everything. For saving Sashko and me. You can call me mom if you want. I will try to be your mom.
10 years later. Sashko. Sashko, get up. What's wrong? Stop sleeping. Hey. And you? I got up because of you. Come on, let's go. Where? To meet your sister. Was it me who counted the days until she came? Get up. Now, boarding flight number 432. Please enter through Terminal B. I repeat, Flight 432 is now boarding. Please enter through Terminal B. Sashko! Sashko, God! Where are you going? Are you crazy? Where are you going? Denka was there. Oh, my God, did you see that? Oh, my God, thank you. You're so crazy, hi. Hi. Thank you. Oh, my God, that's crazy. Thank you, Andrei. By the way, meet Andrei. You know each other? Yes, we flew together. Andrei is a manager, so I want to make him a manager. Ah, I see, nice to meet you, Larissa. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you again. Okay, let's go, Sashko, if you run away from me again. Thank you. Did you see? Listen, are you sure you brought him as a manager? I thought he was a fiancé. Larissa. Ah. Dana and I have known each other since college. I was her research supervisor's assistant. Andrea helped me with my coursework. He's an expert in this field. Really? Dana is an independent girl. She's been like this since childhood. Self-made woman. I can't do anything. Not even cooking. Although there was no one to cook for, my Sashko eats everything. So we use food delivery. I can teach Sashko. The basic minimum. I can do it when I need to. Breakfast and lunch, too. Perhaps you will also manage here? Why? I always dreamed of a younger brother. I grew up alone. Great. Are you ready to continue, Dana Mikhailovna? Yes. End of the first episode. Pavlenko Mikhailo Petrovic. Maybe you shouldn't have come with us. Everything about your father is important to me. You told me so much about him. It was as if I knew him personally. I wasn't at his funeral. I was in hospital after the accident. I didn't even see him dead. That's why I feel like he's alive. He just went somewhere. 
And there is Larry's mother. My nanny, although probably it's more correct to say Mumvalia. Honkarik Valentina Alexandrovna, always remembered. Mumvalia. Unforgotten. How did you stand it then? Episode 2, So Many Losses. It was my mom. Actually, Dana was not the only one who lost someone, at least she was a little girl. She didn't understand anything, and I lost not only my mom, I lost my stepfather and my husband. Yeah, it's terrible. Let's go. Uncle Leonia, you don't have to worry about the handover. Andre will be in charge for the time being, and you can come back at any time. I won't be back. Dana, let Andre handle the duties in fall. Okay, you'll get better, all right? We set a goal. I set a goal. And Pavlenko, we always achieve our goals. The real Pavlenko, if you order me to, I'll have to stay alive. No, I don't allow you to die. But it's all just emotions. We will take you to Germany or Israel, wherever the doctors say. There's a Citro shop down there, just like when I was a kid. Got it, I'll fetch it. Uncle Leonia, Come on. You have no right to leave me like this. A nice guy. He looks like Michaelo, character, strength, even his appearance. Have you noticed? That's why I chose him. How do they drive like that? Who are the rules for, actually? You're just used to the right steering wheel inside. I'm sorry I dragged you out. It's not your responsibility. It's just that Larissa said she couldn't pick up Sashko. Stop it. I'm doing it from my heart. We're friends. Partners. Partners. And the first rule of partnership. You have to trust me. No, you've misunderstood. I am your employer. As you wish, Dana Mikhailovna. I agree, work and personal life are incompatible. A green light for us, let's go. It's crazy, what times? You type in a person's name and you can find out everything about them, almost a biography. This is if the person is famous. Sure, it turns out that his father is famous. A big boss in the administration in some other city. But you, Andrei Vasilyevic, are a bigwig. Is there a new option? Yeah, an option with great prospects. What section does your brother have? Martial arts. He has a workload like I did when I was a kid, except for music and dancing. Sashko refused. Dana. Relax, I'm sorry if I crossed the line. I understand the advance of trust that you have given me because I took this position. I'll try to make it right. Let's leave it. Listen, I've found out something. I don't want to scare you, but you should know. Well... 
Gum. Your hem of, well, not yours. The one who made my father die, right? He was released on parole three years ago. I see. Since Larissa doesn't know about it, he hasn't visited her, that's good. He may show up now that you're back home, be ready. Why? To take revenge. Most likely. He will want money. You have entered into full inheritance rights. Okay. We will solve problems as they come up. Hi. So, Mary Poppins, hello, let's go home. Why are you so grumpy? At 50 drops for my happiness. Which is missing, a rich bride, and all the grooms are of the wrong caliber. Am I not suitable? <laughs> Guys like you stick to me, massagers, drivers. Shall I treat you? I wanted to treat you. It's too late. I've already drunk my daily limit. Larissa does not change at all. The dog is still looking for a new master. Put comma here. Teach me how to cook such delicious ones. I'd rather cook up my own recipe tomorrow. I didn't know you were also a cook. I had to learn when. Why do you always look at her like that? Do you like her? I couldn't understand who she reminded me of. I lost my mother too. You said you don't remember yours, but I remember mine. I was 10 when she died. That's when I learned to cook. Listen. She really looks like Larissa. Your mom was beautiful. Sister, are you in love? Hey, shut up, write it now. Where's Larissa? It's night outside. She is drinking somewhere. Meaning drinking. Does it happen often? I'm used to it. That's clear. I can't hear you properly. Larissa, I can't hear you well. What, Marina? Hello. Marina, the club, I told you, she's having a good time. I'll go to my room. Go, can you finish it there? Okay. Let's go to my place. Ah, you can't come to me for sure. What's wrong, Agila's husband? Now, I've got my things there. Wait. To hell with those things. Let's go, let's go. Sorry, she won't go with you. And who are you? Me, husband. Husband, okay?
Who is that guy? He said he was her husband. Of course. Find out when she got married. Larissa, are you sick? It couldn't be better. Such a handsome guy is driving me. Where is he driving me, by the way? Not home. I can't go home. You hear? I have a son there. I can't. Then where? Let's go to your place. Huh? Can we? Do you have a place for a poor drunk girl? Not the best idea. Don't throw me away. I need support now. So, to your place? Huh? Not for long, about five minutes. Oh, finally. Hey, ooh, it's cozy, listen. It'll do for the provinces. Here, hang it up somewhere. The apartment issue will be resolved soon, Dana promised. Ah, uh, what else did Dana promise you? <laughs> it's okay, come on. What's wrong? Sit down, sit down. Why are you standing there? Relax, yes. I know you're from another city. Your father is a widower. And I'm lucky with those. My legs are very tired. Can you help me? I'll book you a room until the morning. Wait, wait, wait. You promise not to throw me away. What's the matter? Uh, Ath, you love Denka, don't you? I like her. Aha. Uh -huh. And you drank too much. Oh, listen. It's better to be less formal. I'm so tired. Uh, I'm so dizzy. Uh, really? Why am I so dizzy? Oh. It's all because of you. I want to be a little girl. To be protected. To be patted on the head. And covered with a blanket. Well, it's better to be honest. It is clear to all of us, both you and I, that I am not yet a boss. But, but we have a common goal, the prosperity of the company, and I will do my best to ensure that my father's work, your work under the leadership of Leonid Yuryavik, I hope has temporarily resigned, is not in vain. My assistant will be Meet our new top manager, Andrei Vasilyevich Sopran. 
Good afternoon. I'm sorry I'm late. I misjudged the driving time. Not much of a boss, actually. Well, let's start. You know, Andrei Vasilyevich, being late for such an important meeting is simply unacceptable. You've made both you and me look like idiots in front of your employees. I'm sorry. You'll tell this to your girlfriend, and I remind you, I'm your boss, I'll find you next time if you misjudge something else. I got you, Dana Mikhailovna. Moreover, Larisa has a home, and you don't have to follow her whims and take her to a hotel for something. Damn. What's up? I don't know. The same car has been following me every morning. Meaning? When I drove Larissa home from the hotel and when I drove you to the office, and now again. Stop here. Hello, Uncle Kirillo. Found your uncle, niece. Why are you following our car? Don't you have anything else to do? I wasn't afraid of you then, and I'm not afraid of you now. I see that you have become even more resembling your daddy. What do you want? I don't know yet. Maybe to get something back. You got the full rewards. You mean the sentence? I mean the money. And there is nothing of yours. Are you sure? Yes. Maybe Larissa's son is mine. Maybe she was my friend before she lay down with your dad. It's not true. Then I have a part of Pavlenko's heritage as well. Listen, leave us in peace, got it? Or you'll be charged. It's not sleeping. Oh, come on, relax. I didn't come here to quarrel. To give advice, I'll do without it. Okay, well, let's be honest. What's going on between you and Andri? The first love. Why do you care? Because I care. Because I need Andre. I'm also, imagine, in love for the first time. The first time in 30 years, I didn't even think it could happen. Thank you for reminding me once again that you did not love my father. Oh, come on, Dana, I don't mean that. Listen, since we're talking frankly, tell me honestly. Is Sashko Ham of son? Are you crazy? How did you come up with that? Just tell me. No, I'm just not going to answer that. 
Why? What sort of stupid questions are these? I see. Andri is not your property, got it? I'm not your father. I won't tolerate your whims. Don't even think about telling Sashko this nonsense. Good night. For you to know, from now on, I drive by myself. Got it. Can you make it? So, I visited Semarain and talked to the doctors. I asked them to tell me everything as it is. He still has a few more courses of chemotherapy to go, but no one gives any guarantees. Surgery in Germany will be discussed after the results of chemotherapy. Yes. I see here are the audit reports in the new business plan for the next two quarters. Will you review this? Of course. Hey, why didn't you tell me that Hamav was in the city? That he was chasing you, that you'd met? Do I have to report to you? I'll deal with it myself. As a last resort, I'll go to the police. I believe this is our common problem. No, don't involve Larissa in this. Don't tell her that Hamav is here. As you say, but I believe that we are not strangers and we should solve problems together. We have to go to the accounting department at the plant. I looked at the report. They either stole or made a mistake. I'll check it out. I will go and check it myself. There are inaccuracies here and here. Please come in. Hello. 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 Here is the office. Please come in. Well, take your coat off. Show me. It is ready. Please take off your coat. It still doesn't add up. There must be a mistake somewhere, right? We need to check last December. But today, I don't have time to do that. My grandchildren got sick. Here you are. It's December. Well, go home. Go, I say. Thank you. Well. Yes, we checked it all. Come here. It's time for me to go. Will you still be working? I'm going to stay a while. I just need to lock up and I'll leave you a badge then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Damn. Hey. Oh, 
Okay. Cry, don't cry. I'm stuck. It can happen to anyone. Dad. I can't do anything. Everything goes wrong. Well, hello, Leonid Yuryavik. Here we meet again. I didn't call you. And I didn't really miss you. But they say you are dying. Convinced? Now get out. Yes, you want to live, Leonia. You get treatment with Pavlenko's money, you hold on to something. You're furious that without Pavlenko you're still nothing. And you have nothing but vileness in you, Kirlo. And you are worth a penny both then and now. Don't try, you won't offend me. You've had your time in life, too, but the difference is that you will soon die, and I will live, and I will live well. What is it dripping? Odd. Does it help? What happened? I'm such an idiot. I forgot my card and got stuck. God. Oh no, I've been running for two hours. I've searched everywhere. I thought you had been killed. No, no. I'm just stupid. Thank you. What are you doing? Whatever I want. Won't you regret it? We'll see. Yeah. I'm a bad boss. I made all the mistakes. Aha, do you still regret it? No. I don't regret it at all. I've been looking for you for so long. Did I get lost? Fool. I only wish I'd realized it was you sooner. You're funny. I'm funny. And Larissa is beautiful. I know she's in love with you. How can I compete with her? And dry. Are you sure we're okay? Respond. Yes, I'm listening. Yes, Sopran. Did you not reach Dana? I'm not here. I'm not here. Ooh, her phone must be dead. What happened? Yes, I understand. Yes, we'll come. What happened? 
Semarina died in hospital at night. After chemotherapy, the body is susceptible to infections. The general condition is clear. You know, the fourth stage, at first glance, the heart failed. And if we need to know exactly, only an autopsy will tell us more accurately, but we need permission from relatives, and you can see the condition of his wife. Is it possible that he was helped to die? So you mean that the death was violent? I suppose. Who would want to kill a person who is already dying? You are throwing a shadow on the hospital, on the staff, on the doctors, if this is just your guess. Don't be angry. I need to know, a man who had a personal score to settle with Semarine and is at large. If so, contact the authorities, investigate. Your Sashko has already left. What do you mean? With his sister, or what? No, with a driver. What driver? The driver just dropped me off. Are you confused? Maybe Andrew picked him up. You can see on the cameras. God, he's back. Why did you let him go with him? I thought the driver. And dry. I am against the police. His family will be against it too. I'm off his back. He kidnapped Sashko. He took him right out of school. I saw it on the camera myself. It's over, it's over. Of course, I knew that Hamov had returned. I saw him, but to kidnap Sashko. What do you mean? You knew. You knew and didn't tell me. Are you even thinking? You should have warned me about that. And now this bastard has kidnapped Sashko. Do you have any idea what he's going to do to him? Nothing. He just wants money? I'll meet with him and sort it out, okay. Don't go alone, I'm going with you. Hamov told me that Sashko was his son. You shouldn't listen to all that nonsense. I know better whose son Sashko is. Mikhailo's son. And I was close with Hamov after your father's death out of desperation. Okay, no excuses, wait. Where is she? Andrei. I'm so scared. We'll get Sashko back. Calm down. Here. This is the sum that I could withdraw without approval. Is that enough? Choke on it. And now my conditions. Oh my God, are you sure? I'm sure. You will go away and leave me, Larissa and Sashko alone. I'll think about it. This is not up for discussion. I have paid you. Are you not very poor? Daddy left enough money. Where is Sashko? What are you worried about? We went for a walk with the boy and had a manly talk. 
Mummy doesn't really need the boy, otherwise Larissa wouldn't have handed him over to you or the driver, right? What, is she fixing up her personal life? And this does not affect you, is that clear? I wish I had such a defender, right? Shurik, you know, your Larissa finished off your dad, wanna know how? He called her from the detention center, and she, in front of me, without preparation, told him Dana is dead, everyone is dead, anyone would have had a heart attack. If Sash go back, now? In one hour in this place, Sashko? Don't worry about Sashko. Oh, unexpected guests. You said you'd be alone. Did you lie? Sashko has a tracking device. I tracked him. One call and the police will be here. Give the boy back. Listen, Dana Mikhailovna, your assistant is kinda stupid. Don't understand. Who are you betting? Larissa or Danka? Make up your mind. What are you staring at, miser? Are you okay? You still owe me. You'll give it back for your daddy. Dana. Sashko, yeah. Uncle Andri, it's okay. Are you okay, really? You ran away for some reason. I didn't even have time to tell you that Sashko has been carrying a dot for a week now. Come on, get in the car. Are you okay? It's okay. And who asked you? Sit down. Sashko, come here. Are you okay? Tell me, did he hurt you? How? Huh? No, we just talked. He treated me with beer. What? Listen, I told you, Hamov only needs money. He got it. Mom, I'm going to get some water. Go. How did you pay him? Yes. How much? Ten. In dollars. Dana, are you thinking straight? You should never give money to a blackmailer. Not even a penny. Does it matter that it's my brother? Tease nonsense. It's my money, got it, it's mine, and you don't have to count it. Yes, our Dana can be like that, surprised? It's all the result of her dad's upbringing, everything is allowed. And I see that my father never taught you not to speak of people present in the third person. You've left. I'm leaving. I'll stay at the hotel. Have a good evening. What's wrong? Andrei, feeling bad. Here. Have some more hot tea with mint. It's relaxing. Do you have heart problems? Is it visible? Her father. My husband was a heart issue. I saw him in a similar condition when he was worried. I have to take pills. Listen, let's not talk about the bad stuff. Thank God. Everyone's home. Almost everyone, everyone's safe. Let's spend a quiet evening at home and we'll persuade your heart not to disobey. Yeah. He didn't come back. This guy, Andrei, I think you're back to see him, right? Yes. Don't wait, go home. I rented a room here. Ah, in that case. 
Don't you know where he is? Did you lose him? Yes, I know. Good night. If he comes, I'll tell him you were looking for him. Thank you. Recent. I never thought I'd be competing with Denka. You're not going to throw me out, are you? No. The police are here to see you. Please come in. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Dana. Levchenko Seri Mikhailovic, investigator. Please. Yes, thank you. Tell me, Levchenko Seri Mikhailovic, where did we meet before? Goodbye. I remember. You were in the house where I was hiding with my younger brother, and you detained Hamov. Yes, we've met before, but you hardly remember me. You've grown up a lot since then. You tell me, maybe I'll remember. Yes, it was one of my first drives, and then there was this accident. Yes, I shouldn't have asked. It's hard for me to remember. Given that Hamov is at large and possibly involved in Semarainen's death, I have to ask you a few questions. Yes, of course. Yeah. Finally, the fever went down. I was afraid that we would need an ambulance. Thank you. Dana is here. Andrei, well... You tell her what you think is necessary. End of the second episode. Sashko. Sashko. Why are you sitting there? Hey. Here it's better than there. Looks like I'm going to have a new stepfather soon. Did Andrei spend the whole weekend here? Aha, in bed. And mum beside him. I see. Okay. Let's go. I'll feed you. No. Sashko, no need to sit here. No. Let's go. It's still good that you came. Come on. Yeah. 
I understand everything. I ask for it with my feelings. I don't want to interfere in your relationship. I don't want to spoil anything. I'm used to take responsibility for my actions, especially when it comes to women. I did not expect to hear this. Unforgotten. Come here. Episode 3. Are you leaving us forever? Dana. But, Dana, listen, let's not be emotional. Andrew was really sick. I saw. He had high fever at night. Can we go without the details? Dana, where are you going? I'm not going to live here anymore. I'll buy an apartment. And I'm not staying here. You can send me to a boarding school, or I'll go to Danka if she takes me. Yes. Sashko, we will discuss it. Now go, please. Come on, go. That's great. Well done. Well done. You found a way to get me. Everyone will quarrel, and you'll be happy. You can't be happy for me. For Andrei, we're happy together. Dana, Dana. But it's just stupid, really. If you cared about us, you'd wish us happiness. Stop causing trouble here. And I wish you and Andre to be happy. Dana, let's talk. You ignore my calls. I had to send a text message to say that I was released from hospital and was returning to work. Released? Recovered? Well, get on with it. There's so much to do. I can't do it alone. Is that all? What else? You've already been out for two weeks. Is everything okay with your health now? Wait. Didn't Hemov show up again these days? No. Aren't you in touch with Investigator Levchenko? Yes, he reported that Semarinin had been helped to die. This has been confirmed. We still lack the necessary evidence that Hemov did it. Why are we talking about it? Because you are in danger, and Larissa and Sashko, all of you. Nikita, the driver, is with Sashko everywhere. You're with Larissa, and don't worry about me. Dana, listen. I understand your feelings. What happened between us? But there was nothing between us. There is only you and Larissa between us. Got it. Yes, I heard you say about being responsible for the women you're with. Dana. Don't interrupt me. Let's admit it was a mistake. My mistake. Let's forget it. Erase it like a file. Or whatever. That's it. Consider this my order. I understand you, Dana Mikhailovna. Well, Larissa, congratulations. Even though it's still early in your pregnancy, I thought it was just a delay. As you can see, is the man at least worth giving birth to a child, or don't you want to? He is worth it, very much. So give birth and don't hesitate. You are 30, Larissa. When are you going to go again? Dana will never forgive me. Dana is a good girl. You haven't been denied money all these years? I have been like her mother all these years. And now I am a rival. I am pregnant.
I will give birth. I will manage on my own. If necessary, I have a place to live. I have money. I will give birth and bring up my child. Why are you saying that? Because I understand everything. One thing is nice words about responsibility. Another thing is a real problem. A baby is not a problem. This is joy, yes. It's a big joy. So what are we to do then? We have to get married and have a baby. Even if Dana? Without any even if. Are you really happy? I still don't understand why I was called here. Am I suspected of something? Sergey Mikolaevic interviews everyone who knew Semarainen here because it's more convenient. It's quite strange. In fact, we haven't been in touch for over a month, and then this call. Come in. Larisa Artemovna, what was your relationship with Semarainen? That's an odd question. You know our story. You were in my house 10 years ago. I did not lead that case, but yes, I am aware of Hamov's involvement in the deaths of your close people. So ask about Hamov? Semarinin was also no stranger to your family, right? He helped my late husband, handled finances, Semarainen and I were neither friends nor enemies. We were not close. He was a good and honest man. I am very sorry that he is gone. Hum. Tell me better about Hamov. Will you put him in jail or not? If he killed Semarainen, will he at least answer for that? I'm not even talking about the fact that he keeps us all in fear. We are doing everything we can to get him to respond. Tell me, has Hamov tried to get in touch with you recently? No, thank God. Hum. But he only talks to those who have money. Dana Mikhailovna, may I have a word? Your coffee, please. Thank you. Is your investigator gone? He went to continue interrogating. There's no point in interrogating. They still can't catch Hamov. Well, I'll go too. I can't have coffee anyway. Will you ask why? Dana, I'm pregnant. From Andrei, and I'm going to give birth. I thought it would be better if I told you about it myself. I understand how you feel and hate both me and him, but it just happened. Congratulations. A baby is a great happiness. And if you need any help, just tell me. If only with drugs. Andrei needs expensive ones. He has a heart issue. Like your father, I need drugs too. Mm -hmm. 
Here, take it, please. There's a big limit. There's enough for everything. And to whom should I report? The manager. No one. It's a gift. All the best to you. Aha. Uh -huh. Andrei, hello. Hello. Larissa already told me everything. This is great news. Dana. Listen, if we were in love, all this nonsense. We would have gotten back together yet in England, right? Enough, stop. Go. Can you please open? Yes, just a moment. Thank you. Have you interrogated everyone? All of them, yes. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Everyone has the right to be weak. Have a nice day. Tuesday, one, Isha allows to Semarinan's wife to strengthen Sashko's security. Three, investigator Lepchenko results. Four, to raise the question of Andrei's transfer. Five, call Alla about the plan. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'll come by later. Come in. I'll be quick. Excuse me, I've give me a towel. I'll clean it up. Thank you. I must have eaten something wrong. When I was pregnant with my first child, I was sick around the clock. You'd better lie down, and I'll clean it up. Men, please help yourselves to the food. Oh, by the way, the courier came. Here are your medicines. Here you go. And my vitamins. Is there anything for me there? A sedative? Or, as in the cartoon, an anti-animal? Screw you. Sashko, I'll punish you. Thanks, you've already done it. Stop, come back. What to do with him? I'll fetch another one.
Well, Lara, what's wrong? Did you read the instructions? Pregnant women are not allowed to take them. The doctor allowed me. It won't harm the baby in any way. At least I fall asleep with them. What's wrong? Come here. Come, come. Do you want a boy or a girl? I think I'm more of a girl. There are more problems with boys. I've had so much trouble with Sashko. Yes, probably a girl. <laughs> like Dinka, right? I think you've only been thinking about her since you moved here. I'm thinking about my future with you. Denka is better, better than you. Wait. Next one, get ready. Go. Excuse me. What happened? Go. Nothing, sit down. Why did you call? Come on, faster. That's good. Sasha, what are these whims? In fact, you pulled me out of work and from my subordinates. It's not a whim. Work, work. Take me away from them. Where? And go right to it. That's your home, mum and... No, that's it. Lesson over. I don't want to live with them. You left your home because of this injury. It's not right. Okay, brother. What and why is the second question? The first is that you are Pavlenko. Oleksandr Mikhailovich Pavlenko. Oleksandr Mikhailovich Pavlenko. Yes, you cannot behave like a girl. Sashko. Listen. Who's going to help me with my work? I'm counting on you, by the way. Sashko. Sashko. Just smile. That's it. That's better. You are sitting here gloomy. Dana Mikhailovna, how are you? Why are you calling? I told you not to bother me anymore. Or what? Baby, will you complain to your friend from the police? I will never forgive you for Semarinin. I don't understand what you are talking about. Uncle Leonia stopped suffering. You should be happy, and you're so cruel, just like your daddy was. What's he got to do with it? He has nothing to do with it, and for a long time. But his son, the successor, is growing up, right? Pavlenko, you appointed a bodyguard for the boy, that's right but you realize that it won't help him if we can't reach an agreement. I'm not going to agree to anything with you, you bastard, got it. People shout when they are afraid and when they are weak. It's better to solve it peacefully, right, without shouting. In fact, there is still your stepmother. I think she'll be more agreeable. Listen to me, with or without shouting, you will not negotiate anything with me or Larissa, got it. Hi. Why are you here? What's wrong? I miss Sashko. Are you sure he's safe? Just don't lie to me. He is safe. Get changed. I'm waiting for you. You could come home. At least to visit, after all. We are not strangers.
What is it again? Yes, again, the same car. It's like stuck, damn it. Are you going to keep watching? What can I do? Should we play races with them? Or do I stop and start a fight? That's how my mother died. Their car had been chased, brought to an accident. They know how to do that. Afterwards, it looked like her husband was guilty. He lost control of the car. Do you want it to happen to us? The main thing is not to give in. They only get on your nerves and they can't do anything. Dana, it's not the first time Hamov is chasing us, yes. I am sure. Is your investigator going to do something or not? Tell me, why do you need all these interrogations and the visibility of an investigation if you are not actually doing anything? Calm down. We're doing sit down and... I don't want to sit. My family is in danger. Do you understand? They need protection. I can't arrest Hamov just because he drives on the same streets as your family. What can you do? Start a case. Larissa is pregnant. She can't be nervous. Same goes for you. And Hamov is trying to achieve this. He wants you to lose control and agree to his terms. I repeat the work is in progress. What about Uncle Leonia's death? Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it is not possible to prove Hamov's involvement, and we need solid evidence so that his defense does not crush us at the first hearing. I see. So you are suggesting that we just wait until someone dies again? Wow! I didn't say that, Dana. Thank you. I remember my dad saying that it's better to know the enemy in the face and not to bury your head in the sand like ostriches. A great start. Enjoy your meal. Larry said, you know there's a problem. We should get together and discuss everything. How to resist Hamov if the police are not yet able to help us. Do we have to do this in front of Sashko? We're all living like a ticking time bomb now. Larry says, stop taking pills. Hamov can kill us at any time. You exaggerate. I exaggerate, but you're all smart. One scares me, the other teaches me how to live, and you're a bystander, and dry, and nobody to Hamov, not worth a dime. Don't hang your ears up here, come with me and help me. In short, I came up with an option. I will allocate a part of the shares and offer them to Hamov. Formally, I will sell it, but in fact, I will give it away. Are you really that naive? He will choose money over a new sentence. You can't pay him off with a share. He will want to take everything. It is his goal. I'll handle it. Got it. I'll do what I think is right. Without you. Thank you for reminding me. I'm nobody here. Not worth a dime. Why nobody? You are here as Larissa's future husband, the father of her child. That's the only reason I'm consulting you. Who has been working a little too hard? Who drank too much? You can't drink alcohol at all. I don't understand what you're doing. Listen, pregnancy is not a disease. I'm doing what I want. I missed you. Let's go. Larry said, that's the point. They'll hear it. Who will hear? Sashko. Maybe. Oh, you're afraid Dana will hear. What's wrong with a woman wanting her beloved man? Come with me, come, let's go, please. Is it a demonstration performance? Yes, come with me. Go to bed, go, go. Only you with me. You'd better get some sleep now. And you come with me, come to me. Go to sleep, I'll be right back. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Where are you going? I'll be right back. I'm waiting for you. Come back and dry. Sleep, I'll be right back. Come back, and dry. Come back. Oh my god.
What's up? Is it okay? It is okay. Dana. Everything that's happening now. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Everything was wrong from the very beginning. A chain of accidents, my mistakes. It's easy for you to say that everything is a mistake. I'm not making excuses for myself, but Larissa really resembles my mother. The disease when I didn't seem to understand anything. Enough, get out. Andrei, Andrei, are you back? No, Mom, it's me. What do you want here? Where's Andrei? He'll be right back. Andrei, Andrei, where are you? Why does everyone leave me? Where is he? He went to Denka. I won't go. So I'll go myself. I won't let you. Let me go. I won't. Let me go. It can be fixed. What? I will admit the child. I will not abandon him, but I do not want to live with Larissa. This is a cheat for me, for her, and for Sashko. You can't fix anything. I can. Let me go. I can see that you need me. Say it. I needed you, and now you have Larissa. I can't just forget it like that. Let me go. Don't humiliate yourself. Don't humiliate me either. Got it. You can push me away, but it won't change anything. morning. Good morning. Where is Larissa? Still sleeping. Where are you going so early? Did you sleep at all? Almost. Same with me. You're going to see him of. I'm with you. No need. Yes. 
I'm not asking for permission, I'm just stating the fact. I'll listen to the terms of your deal, I'll give you a tip. Maybe something useful, you need support. Take the water. God, you can't find anything in this house at all? Hey. Mom, you've had a whole bottle of water since the evening. I had it in the evening, but now I don't. And I need medicine urgently. Give me some water, please. Okay. Oh, God. Where is everyone? They went, sit down here. Together, Dana and Andrei, I'll do it myself. Go, go. Yes, together. I'll make scrambled eggs. Fried eggs. Thank you, son. I don't need anything. Lovebirds came together quickly. Well, shares are the subject. We just need to think about how to arrange it properly. There is nothing to think about. The figure is final. A specialist will formalize everything. This one, or what? I don't get it. He seems to be offering a good deal, but I don't trust him. Why? Shall I give you a mirror? Look at your assistant. You both showed up buzzed as a bee. Out of fear, well, well, be scared, be scared. Although, actually, I'm a kind person. You are not kind. Unbelievable. She even drove the car, tipsy. Maybe they've been picked up. Yeah, we came here on our own, okay? And the cops will be here if... If we don't agree, I'm in touch with the investigator, okay? Both then, and now they secure us. Do you even hear what you're saying, huh? Dana, I have pills in my car. Let's go home. Come here. Come. Come. What a show. They both came drunk. Let's go after them, or they'll crash. Water. Here you are. That's it. And dry. And dry. Hold on. I'll drive you. I wanted to tell you some news. Good news. And dry. I was looking for an opportunity. The news is good. On the radio, driver of the black jeep, pull over. Damn it. On the radio, driver of the black jeep. She did bring them, bastard. On the radio, pull over. Overtake her, escape. On the radio, driver of the black jeep, number 3737, pull over.
Mom. Dana. It's me, Levchenko Seri. How are you? Where am I? In the hospital. You fell asleep while driving. The car rolled over into a ditch. You were brought here. They said you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Where is Andri? Andrea is also here. His condition is worse. He is unconscious for now. Hamma's car was following us. Yes. I know my group and I were escorting him from the restaurant, and you too, by the way. I wish you had told me about the meeting before. Everything could have been different. What about them? Hamov and his partner are dead. A frontal collision with a truck. No chance there. You were luckier. Is it my fault? Dana. They found psychotropic and sedatives in your blood. Why did you drive in such a state? Now you'll have to explain. I won't lie. You're going to court. It's also terrible. Andre and I have already set a wedding date. And now we have to meet like this. Thank you for coming so quickly, Basil. This is my son, Larissa. How terrible! Everything happened in such a way. It wasn't even the fault of this guy who died, but of Dana, my stepdaughter. How could she drive and take Andrei somewhere? She is a bad driver. She is used to the right-hand drive and... And then she was under the drugs. I can't process all this in my head. What are the prognoses? His condition is very serious, and the reason for this is not only the injuries he got in the accident. A mixture of cardiac medications with incompatible psychotropic caused a heart attack. Psychotropic? Are you sure? He has a heart problem since childhood. He is categorically not to take any. He knows about it. He could not use. Unless he drank without knowing. But how is that possible? Maybe it's better to ask the girl who was with him. How could you dare to come here? Huh? You're walking around. An end dry? See what you did to him. Let her get out of here. You'd better leave. Go out, please. If anything happens to him, you will answer for everything. Got it? Dana, they're going to choose a measure of restraint for you. Your answers will affect a lot of things. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. We need to understand where these drugs came from in your blood and in Andrei's blood. Remember what and where you drank together. It's important. Andrei took the bottle from home and put it in the car. He washed down his pills. I drank some too. You have a coincidence in these drugs. Look at the names. Larissa takes it. That is, the bottle contains her medicine, and in such a dose, you drank it thinking it was just water, right? 
Why did Larissa let you take that bottle then? She was still sleeping when Andre took it. Ask him when he wakes up. We need to get rid of the version of deliberate poisoning. Why were Larissa's drugs purchased in your name and paid for with your card? I gave her the card myself, who knew it would work out like this. Okay, let's move on. Unfortunately, we can't find the bottle. I'll put pressure to get you released on parole. If everything is as you say, then you are the victim, and you are only responsible for causing harm through negligence. May I ask you a personal question? The test showed. In short, did you know you were pregnant? Yes. I haven't told Indra yet. Not happy. A child from the fiancé of my pregnant stepmother. Andrea is in a serious condition because of me. What to be happy about? Do not hurry. Andrei died before regaining consciousness. We did everything we could. Did you achieve your goal? Andre is dead. You found a way not to share him. You bastard, you killed him. Larissa, stop it. She killed him, I know. Stop it, you can't be here. Don't touch me. I hope all the guilty will be punished. So, the measure of restraint for Dana Pavlenko is arrest. I fully recognize my guilt in the death of Andre Subrin. I don't need any mercy. Taking into account all the factors, Dana Mikhailovna Pavlenko is sentenced to three years in prison with a sentence to be served in a settlement colony. My baby. <laughs> End of the third episode. Move along. Thank you. Free for now. Hi, Dana. Me again? 
You come here as if it were a job. Yes, my colleagues joke that I changed my qualification, but this time I have good news. Finally, the lawyers worked and you are released on parole. Enough of this, a year in vain. 347 days were not in vain. I learned a lot. It's for you. Starting a new life with clean pages. Thank you, Sari Mikhailovic. Where do you think you'll go after your release? As far as possible. To start a new page. It's a pity we could. We couldn't. I am very grateful to you, and that's it. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are those to you? Aha, uh -huh. young fools got caught in stealing. However, one of them will have to take the blame for all of them. Why? It's because parents will make excuses for the others, but there's no one to do that for him. Wait, I know that face. What's the name? Pavlenko Alexander. Why? Unforgotten. Yes. Oleksandr Mikhailovic, you are not wasting your time. Episode 4. You're good in height, but not in mind. So tell us why. I wanted to take a ride. There was such a car. You should have seen it. To ride without permission is to steal. Uncle Serhi, is a good or bad thing to have a familiar investigator? Turn off the fool. How do I call your mom? Why? She doesn't need me. Larissa Ardenivna lives in another city. Yes, with a new man, and she sent me to a boarding school. And your house? It's there. Our driver and his wife look after it. I just come on weekends. They better look after you. And your sister, Dana? But she has been in Poland for a long time, about eight years now. Didn't you know? I didn't. How can I contact her? But she is on social media. She lives alone. What to do with you, you fool? That's the question. Hello. Who is this? Sorry, I don't have time. Basil, would you like some coffee? No, thanks. I'm in a hurry. Up late again. I'm working late tonight. Tomorrow, I'll try to be early. What's tomorrow? It's Andre's anniversary. Nine years. Let's sit together and remember. Yes, yes, sure. Yes. Listen, sir, he... What's your name? Ah, uh, why are you calling? Huh? Sashko will be 18 soon. Let him deal with his own problems. And don't threaten me with a trial. So let him answer. My husband won't give me money to pay him off anyway, and I won't even ask him. Got it? What do you want if not money? And no, I won't come. I can't. Don't call me, please. Did she refuse? Yes. Her son could be imprisoned, and she doesn't care. Interesting. I hope at least his sister will respond. How long have you known their family? Long time. About 20 years. Dana, hi. Thank you for responding. I didn't really understand the meaning of the message Sashko is in trouble. He was detained for an attempted theft. I know you have work, but could you come? It's important.
Leave the bottle and go. You're free to go. Come on, Vasya. Why are you doing this to her? How? She's become so insolent lately. She acts like she is the boss here. She has been working in this house for a long time. She remembers Andri. So what? Let's call her. Let her sit down and we'll remember Andri together. I'm sorry, Basia. I'm so sorry. It's just very hard for me. I understand. You've been drinking secretly from me, and Lydia is pissing you off because she hides the alcohol, right? What if it is? Why did you bring me to the house? Basia, to keep me here like in a cage. No drink. No extra words. Am I here for decoration? Basia. I brought you into this house because I love you. I want to make you happy. I want us to have a real family. I want you to have a baby for me. Oh, yes. Yes, to replace and dry, yes. Forgive me. Basia, I didn't match your expectations and... What kind of mother am I? Yes. I can't cope with one son. I went to Poland then. Wroclaw is a beautiful city. I tried to manage my father's business remotely, but it didn't work out. It's a pity. Everything collapsed. I heard that the company had been sold two years ago to a subsidiary of Supran. Is it the one? Yeah, this is Andre's father. Aha. Uh -huh. But it was sold through mediators. I have not met him personally. Yeah, have you thought about coming back? I forbade myself to think, although sometimes my heart hurts for Sashko. How is he doing here? Larissa has completely abandoned him. Well, let's go. You haven't forgiven her. Ma'am, I don't know. I don't want to see her yet. I'm sure that you're not forgotten by your loved ones either. Is that why you have such a nickname on social media? That's how my dad and I called my mom, Unforgotten. Let's go. What are you doing? You'll go to jail. Do you realize that? Thanks, Sarai Mikhailovich, for remembering you. At least he remembered. We need to somehow settle the issue with the owner of the car, financially. I mean... This is unreal. Mom won't give any money. Money is not the issue. Calm down. Tell me. Can we somehow agree so that Sashko is not convicted? In this situation, it's the best way not to get in jail, because it will be much harder to get out. Fool. Just a fool. Come here. Why didn't you say that? That she left me for strangers. But I'm not a kid to complain. Hey, Dinka, it was also my fault that everything happened that way. Meaning? My mother was constantly quarreling, screaming, fighting. I cried a lot. I wanted to save her somehow. I slipped sleeping pills into her bottle so that she would fall asleep and not scream. Somehow Andrei took the bottle. I wanted to tell the investigator, but I was afraid. A coward. Nothing can be changed. It's not your fault. 
It just happens. Consider it fate. Come in. Come in, please. Please feel comfortable. I'll call your mother in a moment. Thank you. Come in, sit down. I don't really get it. Isn't this Basil Subrin's house? I saw it in a photo. Yes, his house. Haven't you realized it yet? He is our mom's new spouse. Tea is ready. What tea? Who asked you? Didn't they teach you that you can't enter someone else's house without an invitation? It's not proper. But this is your house, Mom. Do I have to ask you for an invitation? Why did you bring her? It is inappropriate to talk about those around you in the third person. What were you thinking? Why didn't you stay in Poland? Oh, good afternoon to you as well. Why did you come here? To have fun. Or to be jealous. But there's nothing to be jealous of. Look at how my son has grown up. There's nothing to be proud of. Thanks, Mom. And I lost my daughter during the delivery. Andrew's daughter. Now I'm here with his father crying my eyes out. So why did you come? Mom, Dana made a pledge for me to get me out of trouble. She used to pay him up too. It didn't help with our problems. And maybe you could do some time in prison to clear your head. And I am sincerely grateful for that. Otherwise, Uncle Vasia would have become very poor. I don't understand. We are having a strange conversation. Why did you come? Huh? And you're sitting there looking all mysterious. Hi. Hi, Vasia. Sashko. Hello. What is she doing here? I'm shocked myself. I, it's as much a surprise to me as it is to you. I hope they're leaving. Your son can stay, but you get out of my house. And this is all your Lida, Basia. I told you. I told you. She lets everyone in. Let's find another one. Dana, stop it. No one to grieve about. I hate my mother. Okay, Sashko, don't say that. Can she kick you out like a pussy cat? I hate it when she pretends to be a victim, but she really... Meaning? About Andri's daughter. Sorry? Mother left her in the hospital. So the girl is alive? She seemed to have been born sick and mother abandoned her. I was in a summer camp at the time and was told that my sister had died later. I heard adult dialogues, fragments. Give me the phone, the phone. Here. Sashko, you go. I wanted to listen, too. Go away. This is female talk. So what? Are you going to blackmail me now? Are you going to drag Sashko into this? Is it true? Is Andri's daughter alive? 
Where is she? We will fight for the girl. She has serious problems. Let others fight. I don't need anything. You don't understand what you're saying. You had a difficult delivery. You'll make your decision later. I've already made up my mind. I don't need her. And nobody needs her. How can this be? She died for me then. She didn't die. And you just wrote a refusal. But I would have given up a healthy one, and especially that one. You're not the one to judge me. Have you forgotten what happened because of you? I spent two years in hospitals, hardly recovered. What sort of mother would I have been? Where is the girl? What is her name? Does she have a new family? I have no idea. Don't ask me. Why did you come here? Take revenge on me. You can't live peacefully if I'm happy, right? Really? Happy people look different. Tell me, does Vesel know that his granddaughter is alive? So, you will not say anything to anyone, or I will destroy you, got it? You've been in my way all my life. Not by free will. I never dreamed of a stepmother like you either. Do you think I enjoy quarreling with you? We have been fighting all our lives. First your father, then Andre. At least let me have a quiet life with Vasya. Tell me where the girl is, and I'll leave you alone. I've already told you everything. Go away. Don't make my husband angry. Don't come here at all. Got it? Thank you. Serhi, will you find out about Larry's daughter? I don't even know the date. It's only August 2011. Yes, I will try. If it's like you said, it's a strange story. Yes, but it's very important to me. Thank you. By the way, they're meeting you there. Nikita? Good evening. Uh, you must be Tamara, Nikita's wife, right. I'll go call Larissa. Dana, if necessary, I can help you with renting an apartment or a hotel. No, really, this is my house. Have a nice evening. I've settled the boarding school. We'll take your things tomorrow. And you're going to start home education. I'll prepare you for the tests myself. Bring it to the table. Does Larissa know? She didn't give me any orders. You call her and Toma, tell her. I will call. Call her. Hey. When did Nikita get married? Long ago. Back then, eight years ago. Why are they so tense? I don't recognize him at all. They must be used to living here on their own. After mom left, they moved in like owners. But this is our house. Isn't it ours? Maybe they're afraid we'll kick them out. So let's kick him out. It's better not to. Go call people to dinner. People, dinner, Uncle Mikita and Toma. Well, come to the table, sit down. Let's celebrate our meeting. And Dana's return. Eat it while it's hot. Dana, you're here for a long time. We'll see how it goes.
Once you enter the university, I will take you to work after the second year. What if I don't want to? What do you want? To steal cars? Do you want me to take your exams for you? I don't understand it at all. Larissa pays the billion in couple tomorrow and Maikido from our father's foundation. That is, it's my money and your money. But they look after the house, don't they? It seems so, but their salaries are five times overpriced. When I told mom about the college in England, she said there was no money. Of course. And according to the receipts, she has been paying them this way for eight years. For what? For living in an empty house. Maikita Bilyanin and Tamara Bolyanina. Yes, it seems to me that they are connected to Larry Sup because she pays them. I don't know how to say it. It's not like watching the house or Sashko. Okay, let's check out their backgrounds. But for now, here, I found out about your first request. What is it? This is the answer to my request. Larissa Pavlenko's daughter born on the 7th of August, 2011, died in childbirth. No, it can't be. We have to look for her. But this is hardly possible. Sir, he... Burying a living child is a serious crime. Who would dare to do that? Please, I beg you to help. Okay. Thank you. Suprun and Dry Vesilievic. I am guilty before him. No, why? What's your fault? It was an accident, you know that. You punished yourself for a year and what? Do you feel better? I didn't really love him, did I? Yes. It was rather a kind of competitive anger when Larry said took him away. Aha. Uh -huh. She's right. We fought and quarreled all our lives. We could not share my father, then we couldn't share Andre. And now Sashko is between two fires. She ruined my life, and I ruined hers. It was only she gave birth. And I didn't tell me. Is it the girl's fault that Larissa is like that, that I am like that? If the girl is alive, we will find her. I will do everything for you. Thank you. May I come in? Hello, come in. Tamara Belianina, maiden name Kodova, worked in the same delivery unit where Larissa gave birth to Sashko and then her daughter. And as a gynecologist, she controlled both of her pregnancies. Yes, and it was the year of the girl's birth. In September of 2011, she suddenly quit her job. And since then, she and her husband have been receiving money from Larissa. Thanks. I'll be fine from here. Comrade Major, it's a good thing she's coming to you on a personal matter, otherwise I would have had to remove you from the case. Ah, uh, I've known her for a long time. It seems she's got a strong hold on you. Okay, Tanya, let's work. Tanya, look here. Sir, he, you should marry her. But I've already proposed, a long time ago, really, she said no. So, yes, Kolesnikova. 
Sashko, Sashko. Come here. Tamara and Dryevna. Belie Mina by husband. Kodova by maiden name. Here are the documents from the delivery center. Where Larissa gave birth while you were working. Do you want to explain anything? People work in many places. <laughs> what a coincidence, really, and you quit right after Larissa gave birth. Sashko, listen to this, you need to know, too. Where is Larissa's daughter? Where is the girl? She's alive. Yes, she's alive. You forged the documents, and for some reason, everybody thinks she's dead. Where is she? Toma, keep quiet. Call Larissa. No, you both tell me where her daughter is. Do you understand? I know that Larissa pays you to keep quiet, and document fraud, my friends, is a crime. It's a sentence. Don't frighten us. Tell me where she is. This is our family. Make it a take the knife away. Wait. Why are you so stupid? Ha. Huh? You were told, why are you interfering? Hasn't life taught you that this can end badly? And I'm not scared of it. Make it up. Calm down. I'm calm. Listen. If you say a word. Make it up, Sashko. Go away. Why are you messing? Get up. Go, go. Larissa, it's Dana. I'll be brief. We're meeting in three hours. You got it. You'll manage. Or the investigator, and I will come straight to Vasil's house. Are all the blackmailers here? Where's your investigator? He will join later, if we don't agree. Now you're putting conditions on me. Listen, what do you all want from me, huh, money? Sure, Tamara. For you, and you, my daughter, you're already rich. I don't need your money, where's the girl? And then what? You'll tell Vasya everything. Larissa, let's do it in a kind way. You tell me where the girl is, I find her, pick her up, and we leave, and I won't tell Vasya anything, deal. How? Get your mama drink at least, and then we'll agree. Come here quickly. The most interesting thing is about to happen. It's for Dana. Put it in her bag. What is this? I didn't promise to do this. Do you want to continue living in fear? I personally do not, so do as I say. Lara, think straight. So, now, do you understand why I came to this meeting? Yeah, I had no idea she hated me so much. That's it. We have the materials. Let's go. Well... Larissa Artemovna, hello. We've met many times. I'll introduce myself. Major Levchenko, investigative committee. I can't promise you a drink, but I'll show you an interesting movie. So, will you blackmail me too? You know who my husband is, huh? Major Levchenko. You'd better not mess with me, got it? Tell the other participants of the performance that the detention of the criminal is cancelled. 
I couldn't stop her. No one could have done it in that state. So, tomorrow, will you tell us? I was confused. We were friends with Larissa. It was she who brought us together with Maikida, yes. I followed her lead. She offered me a lot of money. She got all freaked out after giving birth. And one of the rejects died. That's how it was registered. Where is the girl? In a private boarding school for disabled children, to be fair. Every month we transfer half of the money Larissa pays us to support the girl. What's her name? Elia. Eleanor Nadineva. Elia will be called in a moment. She is a very nice girl and no family. Aha, uh -huh. wait a minute. Who pays to support her here? Do you know? Oh, it's a complicated story. She was brought here from the first year. Are there any sponsors? They pay for her. Aha. Uh -huh. You can specify it in the accounting department if you want. Hi. Hi. These are my drawings. Really? You draw very well. And for some reason I was told to come to you. Here's Elia. Uh. Hello, Elia. Seri Mikhailovic. Then I am Eleonora Andrivna. Even so, then just Suri. Then just Elia. Elia. Are these your parents? They are just good people. I wish I had family like that, but I don't. Then we will come to you. You want to take me under foster care? But keep in mind that we have healthier children. I am not very healthy. No, 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 we need you, right? Elia is a very nice girl. She draws wonderfully. So, we'll arrange an exhibition for you, huh? For me? Yes. Are you joking? No. What do you want here? I told you not to come here again, didn't I? Larissa. Get out of here, both of you. You traitor. You turned against your mother. Mom. Get out. Mom, please, Dana found Aliyah. I saw her. She's so cool. I don't know who she is. You'll find out. You'll see how much you look alike. Larissa, this is your daughter. You're an Andri's daughter. God, what do you all want from me? Lita. Mom. Why are you standing still? Get them out and close the gate. Mom, you have to take Aliyah, or I'll do it. Larissa. Mom. Basia, Basia, Basil. Mom, please calm down. Basia. Larissa. Basia, hug me, please. Send them away. Make sure they never come here. Basia, don't listen to them. They're going to tell you about some daughter, your granddaughter, Basia. Did you drink again? Oh, my God. Why are you silent? You all have to get me. All of you. Can't you leave me alone? Yes, yes, yes. I gave birth to a sick child because I drink everything. And I abandoned her. I gave up on her, that's it. I will not have a baby for you. I won't have a baby for anyone else. Leave me alone. Larissa. Larissa, what are you doing? I remembered about my daughter every day. 
and I made sure that money was transferred to her anonymously. I never... I could not force myself to go to her. I was treated, somehow came to my senses. Elia was almost three, I couldn't. I was afraid. And then Vasya came and... He was buying my late husband's company. He took care of me, asked me to marry him. I had such a chance, what was I to say? That I, a bastard, sent my child to an orphanage, and I told everyone that she had died. I betrayed my friend. I decided to keep lying, that's it. So I'm not afraid of the court, I deserve it. It can't get any worse. I've already pushed everyone away from me. You are one of the victims. I was not a victim. I am a witness. Lydia Demchenko was injured. She is now in hospital in a satisfactory condition. How did this happen? You know, I can tell you how many stupid things I did because of guilt. So, Larissa also acted out of guilt. Just like a person driven to a dead end. I don't understand. Are you trying to justify the defendant? You see, it's just that I've known Larissa for a long time. I know what she went through, the loss of her mother and husband, the persecution of bandits, the loss of a loved man, the birth of a sick child, and yes, I am asking you to acquit her. Suppose a car accident can be explained by a state of affect, but the child abandoned for years? How do you explain that? That's why I'm asking you to give her another chance to take the girl and raise her. You realize that no money can replace a real mother? Do you understand? And I will help her. We are one family. Come in. Take off your coat. No, why? Come on. Come in. I bought some gifts for your daughter. There's a set of cool paints. And, in short, you give it to her. Dana. I have so much to tell you. And what you have done is... Better not to say much. Experience has shown that hatred and anger only produce hatred and anger. I don't want that anymore. You won't forgive me. Already. I've already forgiven you. 
We've been through so much together. I hope only good things will happen from now on, right? I will leave you. I'll say it all myself. Basia, I understand everything, really. You won't want to live with me now. But I loved you, really. And I loved Endry too. That's why. That's why I did so many stupid things. Let's go. Where? Your daughter is waiting for us, our girl. Who is it for? For our new mom and dad. Yes. So it's not going to be you and Uncle Serhi? Listen, we'll be there too. Why? This is great. There was no one. And here are two sets of parents. And Sashko, two and a half. Yes. Listen, remember, we are all your family. All, all, all. I also had a long path without a mother like you. Mom. Mom. The operation is confirmed on the 19th. We'll bring the girl to the hospital on the 12th. We have all the results of the tests. Yes, and a hotel for the accompanying persons. We have everything, thank you. Are you worried? More than for myself. Aha. Uh -huh. This professor is scheduled for six months in advance. Wow. And most importantly, he gives Aliyah a chance to walk on her own. Aha, uh -huh. this is great news. I'll do it. Thank you. Is it? Move to the left. Yeah, like that. Yes. It looks good. Yeah. Listen, you'll be gone for about three weeks, right? Considering the rehabilitation, it may be more. Larissa and I will take turns so that Elka is not alone. She is. Can you imagine? She is so naughty. She does not want to be alone. Hey. I'm not leaving for a year. Or do you think you'll have time to forget me? No. You're unforgotten for me. For many years. Come here. Why? Come here. Bend down. 
Well, remember, you were talking about us in the colony. Is the offer still valid? Yeah. Let's go. Just don't rush, okay? Vinka, it's you, and this is Sashko. And this is you, Uncle Serhi. It is you, Mom, and Grandpa. Here. My family. The end. <laughs>